EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner. Alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Nabolo, we are along the Paracel Islands in the South China Sea. Frank, on a mission here today, what can you tell us about this course? Well, one thing, Rich, we don't have fatigue out there, so I've got my battle gear on. Interesting layout ahead. Uh, plenty of water, the islands there to be ne negotiated, navigated, and you never know what just might pop up during the course of the game. And partner, let me just, before we get started, salute you. I salute you too, Rich. You ready? Ready. Aim. Fire. Playing a full 180 yards now. Jordan Spieth led the Masters through 54 holes in 2014, shared the lead at the players that same year through 54. It's, it's incredible at his age, uh, 21 years of age, that you can be that good when you consider that you're up against not good players, but the best players in the game today. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. Over the putt, this is Jordan Spieth. One under early in the round. So coming off a of birdie on the last hole. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Seve esque. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Oh my goodness, Frank, I have never seen anything quite like this. What in the world's going on? That's a destroyer, and it's off course, and it's heading straight for the island. Look out! Well, we're going to have to send in backup now, Rich. We'll need a drone just to try and find out the exact yardage, because that ship now has blocked the view. Talk about a tough defense setup around a green. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read, and missed out on that second part. Spieth has this for par. Those are painful from that distance. Yeah, just another one added to the card. Big mistake. Just a couple of feet. Well, it was bound to come to an end at some point. Drops just one shot after that terrific stretch of birdies. Frank here at the fourth. There's an awful lot going on. There certainly is. Solar panels, uh, radar tower, tower is up and ready to go, so it will confirm the landing on the other side if it's successful. This uh, rather long par three, around the 230 yard mark, so this is gonna be all carry. Gotta land that ball on the green. It will not run through that beach area. And of course, the trees and the palm trees all the way around. If this isn't flighted properly, it will not find the destination. Seems like too much for just one man. This looks like a job for an entire flight crew, Frank. Well, Rich, we should dig ourselves a trench and see what happens. Frank, you and I have called golf from around the world. In fact, we had our broadcast position in the Grand Canyon in a hot air balloon. Tell you what, I'm glad we didn't pick that spot to broadcast from. That would have been lights out early. It would have, but I don't even know if our observation tower that was situated and is going to be safe. Uh, already, the destroyers come and hit the land. 
And of course the fifth hole, this par three, at just over 200 yards, uh, that should be rather interesting, but hopefully we'll be safe. Let's uh, batten down the hatches while we watch the tee shot. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot from the rough, it's on the way. Nice approach shot, he'll be happy with that. And getting ready for the putt. Two under par for the round. Frank here at the sixth, a really fascinating hole. It is uh, mid sort of 200 yards, shared greens, a bit like St. Andrews. But because you're hitting it over an island, you're almost going to have to parachute this uh, tee shot in here and get it to land softly. There's a lot of things going on behind to the left and the side. It's like a little village that you're hitting into. Hopefully you don't need a passport. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Has this to save par. Has his par. Now on to the seventh and Frank, this is, uh, to say the least, a dangerous hole. You've got to hit it across that retaining wall, or that protective barrier to stop the sand and the enemy coming in. Really, the green sets up nicely for the tee shot, but uh, be wary. There might just be a minefield out there. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach, and now a really good look at birdie. This for Jordan Spieth's birdie. Well done. Another birdie, and now three under par. Partner, look at that. Left here at the eighth hole. You and I could shoot a little hoop. You want to play a little donkey? Yeah, it's uh, very observant of you, Rich. Also, the barracks just up ahead that protect the left side of this green. So there's a lot of visual intimidation on this par three. Follow the sandy trail, and there's green at the end. Now, this is not heading in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Yeah, that was a little over-ambitious. He'll need to be strong with this. Well, how do you like that? He's holding. Just a phenomenal play right there. Frank, it's been a real battle out here so far on the front nine. Let's uh, finish it off in style here. Well, there's a great view just slightly right of the ninth green. Look out now. That's full of people. You might get the appropriate applause, maybe even a standing ovation. At least a salute. 150 yards approximately to that flag, but you have to be precise. And let's see how precise you can be. Frank, two is nice, but... Three is even better. Well, how about this little move? Five under par now. Two straight birdies. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. Surely not. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. It's a very makeable putt here. He is currently five under for his round. Starting to put something special together, six under par. Now the tiny little 11th hole here at Paracel Storm, Frank. The scorecard gives it 125 yards, Rich, and we know we're going across the bay there, but uh, really this is an excellent chance to increase that birdie bogey ratio. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That is a really good shot landing close to the flag stick. Rich, I'm starting to lose count. This is just birdie after birdie. It's all-time stuff. I mean, this is territory we just don't visit very often. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> For the par. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, the 12th hole here at Paracel Storm at 241 yards. Island Green. I can't think of a harder par three in the world. This hole, you really have to be wary on the direction of the wind because if it's coming off the island, 
then it's going to blow it towards the water. It's going to make this tee shot so much more difficult. Conversely, if you get a little sea breeze, it's going to help. It's going to hold it up there and make this whole play that little bit easier. Birdie chance now for Jordan Spieth. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Here we are now at the 13th, and Frank, this is a stout-looking hole. Rich, it certainly is. No time to be superstitious on uh, number 13. The trenches, they protect the back and the right of this green. Anything left of that, time to call in the Navy. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Second shot coming out of the rough here. Oh, without a dump. That will be on the highlight reel later tonight. Excellent shot. Frank, this looks like a green where if things didn't go well, you might find yourself just walking around in a bit of a haze, maybe talking to an old volleyball that washed ashore. It's almost like a booby trap, uh, Rich. It looks way too easy after some of the other holes we've seen. I've got this sort of sneaking suspicion there's something out there. It just looks like a green just perched up there with very little trouble around. That's got me thinking there might just be something out there. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Well, Rich, if he can make this one, add it to that string of birdies. You're generating some momentum now. Now to the 15th and Frank, where exactly is the green here? Well, I think you need the Jungle Book to try and decipher this one. A little short par three up and over there. There is a green in amongst that jungle. And even the green has its own little mini jungle in it. This is one of my favorite holes on this golf course. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Just five feet left. Always like to get the double figures under par. Ten under already. Just take a look out at the battleships burning, the solar panels, the bridges, the barracks. You know you're not at your dad's country club anymore. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. This is all over it. Ah, uh, dude, that! He just made an ace! 17th hole now at Paracel Storm, and Frank, as we come toward the end of this round, you really want to salute the caddies as well as the players. That's right. They've gone out there with meal packs today and canteens to make sure that there's uh, the right amount of sustenance. But if you're looking for victory, then a strong finish is needed. Good chance for a birdie here at 17. You've got to uh, traverse, obviously, the water there. And without the help of the Navy today, this is going to have to come in nice and high and soft, a little bit like a paratrooper coming in down there to avoid all those trees and palm trees that protect the front and the right side of this par three. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. If you hit enough shots, every now and again, one's going to go in. Crazy, crazy game. Now the finishing hole, Frank, and just a spectacular looking hole. Yeah, chance to complete our mission. Should we succeed here at 18? If anything, you want to keep the ball a little left of the flag. Otherwise, we're off the beach. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Did the job right there. Frank, that was an impressive round out there today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, we've seen some great shots out there, and I'm excited to see how the rest of this tournament plays out.